Alright guys, so we're currently here back on Palm PvP Faction for the 6th episode. This is going to be kind of like a mini episode, I guess you could say. Basically, I'm just going to be talking about what actually happened in the end of the map and announcing the next map of uh, Palm PvP Factions. Now, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are excited for today's video. Let's try to hit 100 likes on today's video and also let's try to hit 5,000 subscribers sometime soon. We're like 200 subs away from it, boys. And also, Palm PvP Faction Season 2 releases April 29th at 5pm EST. That is actually tomorrow, guys. You guys are seeing this video come out on Thursday. Thursday at about 5 p.m. EST. The release is about 24 hours away from this video being released. It'll be the next day, actually Friday uh, at 5 p.m. EST. I will be live streaming the release. So yeah, I hope to see you guys on for that. Now, yeah, boys, let's get, get straight into the video. So I'm going to hop on factions here. I'm kind of in staff mode or whatever. I'll just be on my staff account really for this video. But I kind of want to just talk about what actually happened. So basically our faction eclipse technically it did have enough value to win f top one now the problem with that was is our value was glitched the entire map we never really appeared on f top number one except for a little bit but towards the end of the map we didn't really appear on f top so i don't think it was essentially fair so i made the decision to not give us f top one because i feel like people would have called this up for abusing all this and that i didn't want to deal with all of that i also think it's a better for the server because people would have kind of I don't know it just might have gave us a rep of kind of abusing even though we really didn't if that makes sense because there wasn't really a good chance for anybody to raid us because we didn't actually have that spawner value calculated on f top even though it was placed and it was just glitched out we didn't actually have it calculated it did get fixed and it told out to i believe just under 11 billion or 10 billion dollars in value something like that so i'll put the first screenshot up on the screen right now of a telegram chat message from a manager on the server who counted all of our value shout out to glitch he sat there for probably a couple hours just counting all the spawners that we had glitched out and uh, recalculating all of them now the next screenshot i'm going to show you guys is me actually adding up all the value for each spawner so it should be in a notepad screenshot i believe it was with all the individual spawner values uh added together so we had like iron golems creepers witches uh gas all the value for each one of those should be up on this screenshot and then the next screenshot i will show you guys is going to be the uh calculator app just me adding all those values together to get the amount of value that our faction actually had and how much we could have had on f top now we were hiding value throughout the map which is illegal so we did get a little bit of a deduction for that but we still would have had enough value to uh place on f top because i believe f top one i'll put a discord screenshot up putting a lot of screenshots up on today's video but i'll send you guys a screenshot of the f top placements and who actually won number one through three so basically is what we decided to do is um I'll, uh, like i already showed you guys a screenshot up on the screen we decided we we're going to do a tie with number three so my faction eclipse is not actually going to be getting number three we could have gotten number one but we're kind of getting a tie with number three we're just getting the buy craft they didn't even get announced that we won but we will be getting the 150 dollars buy craft for third and so will uh the actual faction that got third that appeared on up top because i feel like it's not fair for us to get first or second because nobody really had a chance to raid us i guess and to be honest 150 dollars buy craft is really not that game changing yeah we can get some monthly crates and stuff like that some ranks probably for the faction but it is not going to ruin the economy type thing for the next map it's not going to be like game changing and just give us a huge boost it'll give us a little something because we did technically have enough value we should have won but uh i think this is just a better decision for the entire server itself now guys let's just get into the details of the next map of factions i might go over briefly again a couple more minor details if i forget anything but for now i'm going to talk about the actual next map of uh palm pvp factions so we are releasing a lot of new features such as blueprints we did announce this last map but it was actually not finished in time we're still working on this but this will be finished very soon this will be released for map 2 once tnt does enable we also have things such as slash events i don't know if we put these on the server yet no we didn't this is finished we also did slash duels duels is finished now uh i don't think there's anyone on the server duels slash dre pvp maybe i'll show you guys real quick i'll duel the other owner on the server all right so i just dueled the owner and i'm gonna go ahead and accept this there is loot on the ground what in the world i'm gonna have to reapply my set right here because for some reason that enchants go away it's probably a bug we have to fix i'm gonna slash bless real quick so i can uh get my um effects my negative effects taken away this set only gives me strength one i got i guess i got really unlucky when i popped a g kit real quick just to use for this uh 1v1 here so i'm gonna be dealing like no damage i feel like and we're already getting destroyed that's great dude what is okay he's cheating he's literally cheating okay maybe not did i kind of want to win this 1v1 low-key just kind of put this kid in his place last time i 1v1 him earlier just for fun testing out the dual system earlier when i was on the server he kind of quick dropped me and i'm getting destroyed right now i'm a washed 
Minecraft PvP are okay. I thought it was good at this game. Dude, there's no way. But yeah, like I was saying, last time I was on the server, um, and I tested out the dual system, he actually quick dropped me, so I need to uh, get some revenge here. I got pearls. I don't know if he got pearls this time, so that might be a little advantage we have here, and I can't use pearls in duels. It's never mind. And we quick dropped again. Oh my. I think Dre's cheating, dude. He, there's no other way. If, if you beat me in a 1v1, it means you're cheating. Just joking, but yeah, that's our dual system we have on the server right there, and uh, we, other, we got other cool features like all chop. This was your last map. Uh, I have to actually be in a faction. I'm going to create a faction real quick. And uh, I'm already in a faction, so let's leave that faction, create a faction, then do slash alt shop. And uh, yeah, you can purchase alt accounts with in game money, so you don't actually have to have like 100 alts to AFK your cactus and uh, all your spawners and stuff like that. You can just spend like a little bit of in game money, like $10,000, which is literally nothing. And uh, you can get yourself some alts. We're also releasing dungeons on the server, which is going to be another good way to get money to start up on the server. Um, basically, you're going to start off in a little parkour area. This is what I was told you start off in a parkour area. And you have to like parkour out of a volcano or something and like kill mobs or something. I don't even know. That's what I was told. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good way to make money. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's a pretty cool concept. We also added something called a raid event, which basically is like an admin base spawned in. So spawned in by the admins. And uh, basically the cords are released in chat. This will be held like once or twice every map maybe. So basically random cords in the overworld will be released in our discord. And I'll say in chat, it'll announce this and uh chat and the first person to find the base and go to the cords that are posted in chat will set up a cannon and it's kind of just a race first person to get into the base will receive items like admin crates like admin items tons of monthly crates like a bunch of custom items a bunch of uh value on the server probably like 400 million dollars in value in this base and uh yeah it's a super good event so you're definitely going to want to go for that if you decide to play on the server but yeah guys these are just some of the super cool features that we're actually going to be adding as well as we still have stuff like we had last map we have our masks over here uh if we i'll just use the npcs we have got all kinds of masks here like over here we got all kinds of different pet tiers we have all kinds of pets here as you can see you can uh come on the server and test this up for yourself on friday at 5 p.m est and also we have armor sets right here we have uh five different armor sets right now so yeah you guys can come on the server and check those out if you would like and also once you log in the server boys make sure to do slash redeem space robbie and uh you can claim yourself 250 50 free coins and you also get 100k in-game balance which is something really good to start off with so if you're interested in doing that i can't do it right now because i already did it from last map we didn't reset it but uh yeah we actually did buff slash redeem to 250 coins and uh yeah you'll get 100k as well now i'm pretty sure we're going to be revamping the crate keys as well and we're going to be adding partner crates on factions i believe i was told so yeah those are pretty much all the changes for map two on factions but yeah guys that's pretty much all i had to announce i just wanted to announce the season two of factions on palm pvp and i also wanted to announce because i kind of left last video on a cliffhanger and uh, i kind of wanted to announce what we actually happened in the last bit of the map because this was a four week map it's not like archon when i used to play there and they're like one week maps these are longer maps so i feel like they're more important and i want to keep you guys updated throughout the entire map so it's, i just feel like it's better for content and you guys can enjoy it more but yeah boys basically we got an unannounced uh f top number three award this is just to sum it up pretty much but yeah we got an unannounced f top number three we did get 150 by craft we will be spending that in uh the sotw reset video that should be coming out like sunday probably probably uh the uh, next sunday so uh yeah hopefully we see you guys on here at 5 p.m est on friday for the palm pvp factions release if you guys want to hop on the server make sure to use my ip robbie.palmpvp.com and uh yeah guys i'll be streaming the release so i hope to see you guys there